Hi, my name is David Moss. Uh, they call me Country. I'm the shop foreman here at Class Condom Midland. And today we're going to go over the maintenance items that pop up on your vehicle when it's time for an oil change or a different service. Also going to go over tire lights and what they mean, along with some different warning lights and what you can expect and uh, when those come on. First, I got the Honda maintenance winder codes right here. You'll see these on your vehicle when it's time for an oil change. Uh, 15%, uh, that's when they recommend you planning on getting your oil change done. Uh, 5%, you need to go ahead and get it done. And then if you happen to hit 0%, you've gone past your oil change limit and we need to get you in and get you taken care of as soon as possible. Uh, also, we have symbols A and B that go with it. Basically, that's just, they alternate between A and B uh, each time we reset the light. Then you have different numbers, one through zero. One is gonna be a tire rotation along with your oil change. Uh, number two is going to be a recommended uh, air filter, cabin filter replacement. Number three is gonna to be to replace your transmission fluid. Number four is going to be, be replace your spark plugs and also inspect your valve clearance. Number five is to do a engine coolant flush. Six is a, for the all-wheel drive vehicles, that will be replacing the rear differential fluid. Seven is a brake fluid flush. Uh, number eight, also replace air cleaner. Uh, and then number nine is basically just an exhaust inspection. And uh, number zero is to inspect the spare tire kit. Make sure that the expiration date is, on that is not expired. Uh, also, when it comes to the tire lights, this time of year, you probably see that quite a bit with the weather changing. If your tire light is on solid, uh, that indicates a low tire. And if it's flashing at you, then that indicates a usually a system malfunction, such as a tire pressure monitor sensor. Best thing to do is to double check your tire pressure uh, and then bring it into us and we can take a look at it. If it's low, we can check for leak. If it has an object in it, we can repair it. And then we can also set it to the right pressure and then recalibrate it. A lot of complaints I see, they say all the lights are on, scares people. But if your check engine light comes on, it will inherently cause all of the other lights to come on with the uh, sophisticated communication these vehicles have nowadays. Here at Class Condo Midland, we understand that no matter what vehicle you drive, whether it be new or old, high end, or just an everyday driver, every now and then lights come on as you're driving down the road or when you first get inside your vehicle. When those come on, best thing to do is just bring your vehicle in. We can scan it, see what code it has, diagnose it, and get it fixed up for you.